trees. My mama was so dirt poor, they used to call these houses shotgun shacks. You could open the door and shoot a gun through and hit your neighbor and get away with it, I guess. I don't know why they called them that, but there was only one room shack that I was born in. When Mama saw she had twins, well, a loving mother knew that she couldn't even hardly raise one of us. So she took me and lovingly placed me in a basket on a neighbor's porch. But wouldn't you know, some Amish folks from Kuwaita were visiting <laughs> their cousins. So I've been on a farm in the boonies all these years till a few years ago when my Amish mother died. And I was in a state of shock because we had no television, no media of what sort at all. Not even any electricity. So I'm out, you know, plowing for a few weeks there, and I thought, I don't understand what Mom's talking about. Who's this Elvis cat? So I hit the road as a truck driver for a few years, and late one night in Tupelo, Mississippi, some lady named Gladys with dark hair approached me in the parking lot and said, Son, you got to carry on. Your brother's left the building, but guess what, folks? <laughs> Jesse Garrett has just arrived. <laughs> well, here we go. My assistant has been well versed in, in the. Uh, the uh, perplexities of this uh, fancy new wave equipment, and neither have I been because of not being around electricity. They're afraid I hurt myself with it. Baby, let me be. Thank you.